in this video we will discuss about the offset most of the students they will not be knowing about the offset because of that they may face a lot of problems during the lab exams hence it is my slogan to my students I tell this to them many times in the class as well as in the lab if you don't know upset you will become upset in the lab exam signal generator is having a lot of knobs one for frequency variation another pulse width variation amplitude variation in this video we will concentrate on a DC upset whenever you are not using it is better to keep it in off before you conduct any experiment upset is nothing but a clamping or a DC insertion whenever you want to use upset you have to keep CRO in the DC mode so that you can observe the clamping when upset knob is off you will find there is no DC shift there is no clamping at all first your half cycle will be equal to negative half cycle when you suddenly switch on the DC offset knob you will find there is a maximum negative clamp complete waveform will be in the below the zero line this can be observed in the figure number two again when you start rotating clockwise that negative clamping start reducing again when you rotate further it will become zero and it will start coming towards the positive also now you can see in the figure number three everything is below the zero but it touches the zero and in the figure number four a little portion has come in the positive voltages similar when you further rotates clockwise the knob you will find it starts giving a positive clamp again if you rotate you will get a positive clamp now what is the impact of this we will try to discuss using a small circuit a half a rectifier when you conduct the experiment properly this is a waveform what you are going to observe in a CRO screen a positive half cycle diode conducts when hence positive half cycle will get output but during the posterior half cycle also output is not equal to input because some voltage drop will be there across the diode also. Now what you will do simply you switch on the you rotate uh, switch on the knob offset knob and the input becomes completely a negative voltage hence you will not observe any output this can be seen in the figure number 7. Again I start rotating clockwise that negative clamp reduces but now also everything is in the negative only hence output is zero because during negative half cycle or negative voltages diode will become reverse bias again further I rotate a small portion will become positive in the waveform you can see in the figure number nine during that the diode will conduct hence you will get a output Further, when you rotate clockwise, this positive clamp start increasing. Hence, you will start observing the waveform. Figure 10 shows almost uh, more than half positive half cycle is there. During that time, diode conducts. In the figure number 11, you will find only a little bit is in the uh, below zero line. Everything is in the above zero. Hence, figure number 11, you can observe most of the waveform you can uh, during most of the waveform the diode conducts when I increase further DC offset everything becomes above zero line you will find complete waveform in the output because diode conducts for all the positive voltages summary when it is everything is below zero line no output if a small thing is there in the above zero line small voltage or part of a waveform during that time diode conducts output will get and uh, similarly when it is a 50 50 only 50 percent you will get output when everything is above zero line you will get a hundred percent output as it is input 
so person who don't know sometimes the knob is rotated by somebody somebody is conducting the experiment they may get output or sometimes they may not get sometimes they may get a hundred percent positive negative half cycle also hence this is my slogan to my students if you don't know upset you will become upset in the lab exam thanks for seeing this video